Attack one, two. What is this shit still loading? They always gotta load something. Okay, so I figure I'd knock another one out. We got a TI. King of the South. You know. Legendary rapper. I think TI is one of my favorite rappers. He, uh, to me, he got one of the best discographies. Next to, uh, uh, next to Snoop Dogg. So we got his first album. I'm serious. Nobody knows about this album really like that. We got Mac Boney, Beanie Man, Pharrell, Jazzy Fox, Too Short, TSC, Young Bloods, Bone Crusher, Pastor. I don't think T.I. has ever released a whack album. His worst album to me is T.I. vs. T.I.P. But it's not whack. T.I. has not released one whack album. I think every other artist on here has kind of co collectively released something that's close to whack. T.I. has not released anything whack. What is this? What is he known? What song is he known for? I don't know. You'd have to really know T.I. to know how uh, I'm Serious is. I, I think he got a couple singles on there, though. This is the album he's first known for, Trap Music. And uh, he ended up, he famously, he keeps getting into a beef with Gucci Man about this title, dude. Uh, T.I. and Jeezy on one side, and Gucci Man's on a completely different, completely other side. Um... But T.I. made this post where he said he started trap music and uh, somebody from Gucci's team had had a Gucci Man album way back in 2000. So, you know, I, I think that's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's pretty funny. T.I., Jeezy, and Gucci Man will never be on a song together, ever. They have. They never have been. Well, Jeezy and Gucci Man did songs. I'm going to talk about that with Gucci Man, though. But we got Mac Boney, Jazzy Fall, Let's Get Away, I remember that song, Rubber Band Man, they got Bun D, A-Ball, and MJG, The Bezel, I think this is my favorite song on here. There's some really good songs on there, man. Again, T.I. delivers very good content. We got three Urban Legend, You Don't Know Me, that's the song, I'll oh, Bring Them Out. Man, see, just, you know, again, this, this shit really brings me memories, man. It does. It really brings me memories. Brings me to a happy place. Uh, but he got features on here like Nelly, BG, from the Hot Boys with Lil Wayne, uh, Manny Fresh, Lil Kim, Pharrell. PFC, Jazzy, Faw, Trick Daddy, man, I miss Trick Daddy, man, Lil John, and the e Lil John, and Lil Wayne, uh, Das Dillinger, too, from the Dog Pound, Governor, Memories, man, to bring memories, man, King, one, one of the, personally, in my opinion, one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. Uh, it's my favorite T.I. album. Again, it brings memories. I don't care what nobody say. This is the best T.I. album. This King is the best fucking T.I. album. I don't care what nobody else got to say. So we got UGK, Jamie Foxx, Mike Epps on the skips. Uh, uh, on a skip, on a uh, skits, Swiss Beats, Jeezy, BG, Pimp C, Young Buck, Young Dro, Pharrell, Common, already, Governor, the songs he's known for, you know, uh, I think Top Back, Get It, Why You Wanna, my favorite song on there, uh, Live in the Sky, and What You Know. Huge commercial success. 
I think he was in a Hustle and Flow movie. He made a cameo appearance. Hustle and Flow was big. See, I... No, it was that... What? No, no, was it? It was that movie where he was skating and shit, I think. I think I'm getting confused with Roll Bounce, but I'm not quite sure. I think it's Hustle and Flow. But, um... He was with Lauren London. And his love interest was Lauren London at the time. And... You know, Lil Wayne ended up getting her pregnant. I wonder why she chose Lil Wayne. Probably because T.I. was married. Or T.I. was with that one girl. I don't know. I don't even want to go into all that drama. I'm going to a, to a realm that I don't need to go into right now. Uh, greatest T.I. album ever. One of the greatest hip-hop albums ever. Hands down. Then he did T.I. vs. T.I.P. This is T.I., to me, this is T.I.'s worst album. I think people would say uh, No Mercy would be his worst album. <laughs> I like No Mercy. I think this is his worst album. And it's still a good album. It's not like it's a, it's a bad album. I just think this is his worst album. You got Wyclef John. You know. Uh... Busta Rhymes, Alpha Mega, Alpha Mega allegedly, allegedly snitched on T.I. Uh, T.I. had military guns. Uh, he got caught up and allegedly, somebody somebody on the internet said Alpha Mega was the one that snitched. He was a, he was a plant. Uh, Jay-Z, Nelly, and Eminem. Those are the biggest artists those were the biggest artists of the decade. The biggest artists of that, of the entire 2000 to 2005, 2006, 2000 to 2005 was Jay-Z, Nelly, and Eminem. Nelly's gone. Eminem just gets roasted all the time. Eminem, Eminem, everybody's just roasting Eminem at this point. Just, they're just roasting him. Just, he's not that good. He's just, he can't make music. He sucks. Everybody dissing him. MGK, Nick Cannon, uh, and Jay Z. Jay Z, you know, he's with Beyonce, chilling. Really, any singles to this either? So, oh, Paper Trail. This brings memories. I was in tenth grade at this time, and. Uh, brings a lot of memories um, so we got Ludacris B.O.B. and I think T.I. and Ludacris was in the beef before this they decided to mend their beef no never mend it with Gucci Man though no. but you know uh, B.O.B. he decided to sign B.O.B. shortly after this B.O.B. had a good little stint good little run and uh, B.O.B. is like an airplane and that, that's no pun intended. B.O.B. is like an airplane that just went went a little distance. It's like a, it's like taking an airplane trip to like from Las Vegas to Oregon or some shit. It's like a short, you know, he had a short rise and then he just kind of fell off. Tyler the Creator dissed him. He dissed him back with a horrible diss. The rest is history. Shortly fell off after that. All he does is talk about Illuminati. Um... Rihanna. Rihanna's chilling now. Usher. Usher's chilling now. He still makes music here and there. He did a song with Summer Walker. Uh, Swiss Beats. Kanye. Jay Z. Wayne. This is the throne. Kanye, Jay Z. T.I. got a verse from the throne before they were even called the throne. And you got Lil, Lil Wayne and M.I.A. M.I.A. had the commercial success, Paper Planes, and the sample on Like Us is for the one from Paper Planes. It was a big hit. That song, that's one of the most addicting songs I've ever heard. John Legend, Justin Timberlake. Dead and Gone was the most overplayed song I've ever heard in my life. Uh, so now we got No Mercy. The album everybody else thinks is T.I.'s worst album. I can tell you that. 
Uh, we got Kanye West, he did Kid Cudi, Scarface, Chris Brown, Rocco, Eminem, The Dream, Yo Young Dro, Trey Song, Pharrell, Drake, Rico Love, Christina Aguilera, Carrie Hilson, Got Your Back. That was, that was a good song. That's another Whatever You Like. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Whatever You Like. I didn't even see that shit. Where is it? I'm used to looking... I'm used to looking at songs that have features from people that I, I know. Whatever You Like is one of the T.I.'s most popular song ever. Everybody knows T.I. from that song. If you don't know who T.I. is, if you hear Whatever You Like, you're going to be like, Oh, that song. So, uh, Christina Aguilera, Rick Ross. I like this album. I can actually listen to this album front to back. I just didn't think, I don't think that's what people expect from T.I. Uh, so we got Trouble Man. He got out his little gel stain. He only took, he only did a year. Everybody's uh, saying that he snitched. I don't think he snitched. I don't think so. And I don't want to say things that may not be true. Um, so we got Trouble Man. We got G Season, Meek Mill, ASAP Rocky, Wayne, Andre 3000, R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, my God. R. Kelly! <laughs> Pink, CeeLo, Akon, Victoria Monet, who works with Ariana Grande, D.O.P.E., and Trey. R. Kelly's done for. Now, I'm going to mention this on every video. R. Kelly's fucking done for. Uh, T.I. and Lil Wayne got into a little beef because uh, Lil Wayne... T.I. didn't like the way Lil Wayne answered to the Black Lives Matter movement. Lil Wayne didn't give a fuck. You know, that's, you know, Lil Wayne's in his own world. I'm that, I'm that way, too. I'm just completely in my own world. Like, I just... Certain certain topics. If you if you come at me with certain topics, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give an answer that's politically correct. I'm gonna give an answer that makes you screw your face. Like what the fuck? You know, I because I'm just I'm I'm again I'm in my own world. I'm completely gone. Like my mind, my brain, my mind is gone. My only focus is, is this YouTube. Not even having a month, a bunch of subscribers or money, it's just getting these YouTube videos out and getting a bunch of people to watch them. I don't have any goals as far as trying to get a million subscribers or nothing. I got a brand, I got a plan, I got an idea. I want to get this shit out. That's that's the only thing I'm focused on. And the other the other thing that usually occupy occupies my mind is women because that's because the women think about me. But my mind is. Completely just focused and centered. Like if you were to hang out with me like right now, I would barely even talk to you. I talk, but I don't even talk. So, but I don't want to make this about me. This is about Ti. Uh, this is his 2014 album. He signed Iggy Azalea. <laughs> so we got Wash a Duck. It's a little band he signed. We got Jeezy, we got Young Thug, Skylar Gray, Iggy Azalea, Chris Brown, Boozy Badass, Nipsey Hussle, Rest in Peace, Victoria Monet, Usher, Trey, The Dream, and Rick Ross. My favorite song on here is Sugar Cane. Uh, the song he's most known for is No Mediocre. And see, I got a lot of flack for signing Iggy Azalea. Only because she's white, though. So, uh, so he took a four-year break because he got into some serious shit as far as the hip-hop community. And plus, um, T.I. is getting a lot of flack for treating his wife, treating his wife, quote-unquote, the wrong way. It shows you what time, what time we in. The time we in nowadays, it's all, of, it's all about the females. Um. You can't, 2020, upcoming 2020, men, you might as well sit back and relax, because it's the female's time. 
No, but that's what that's why Ti is getting a lot of flack for the Floyd Mayweather situation and uh, Tiny and Tiny allegedly being with Floyd Mayweather, dancing on him and lying. Even though allegedly Ti has uh, always been a cheater. But let's get into this dime trap. So he presents us the dime trap. Actually, you know what? I think dime trap is his worst album. I don't like this T.I. album like that. I at least like T.I. versus T.I.P. I don't like Dime Trap like that. Uh, he got Dave Chappelle on a skit. Sam Hook, Wash the Duck, Yo Gotti with the rave song. Young Thug. Empathy. And this this weekend song is still pretty dope. Rafe is okay. It's, 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 like, it's like a bad T.I. song. It's a good song if it was anybody else. But this is, this is low ball. Rafe is a very a very low boss song for T.I. Mr. Fuck Up, Victoria Monet, Anderson Pack, Meek Mill, Jeezy, YFM Lucci, Tiana Taylor, London J and Marsha Ambrose. So honestly I think this is T.I.'s worth all. More more and more again, more and more is a good song. But it's such a low ball song for T.I. because it's very repetitive. And it's just it's just a bad, this is just a bad T.I. album. It's still a good album. It's just a bad T.I. album. I don't know if he's trying to dumb himself down for the newer generation. Or he just don't give a fuck no more. But This is definitely, yeah, okay. Don Trap, Don Trap, hand down, hands down, is the worst T.I. album. Still a good album, still a decent album. We just, I'm just so, we just so used, well, I'm just so used to T.I. providing amazing content, and he has the best discography in the game, arguably. Period. He has the best discography. Jeezy's not that good. Uh, Bun B's not that good. He don't have that much albums. Drake, Drake's is okay. Drake is all over the place. E40. E40 is like a hill. He just goes up, down, up, down. But he's underground. He's like a mainstream underground guy. Eminem, Eminem f fell off after, uh, <laughs> after uh, uh, 2004 out. Encore. After Encore, Eminem has never been the same. Um, relapse wasn't that bad. Recovery, recovery was okay. It was too calm down though. Uh, what else? What else? What other albums? What other albums? Can I think? Marshall Mathers LP two. I actually liked it. Revival. I liked Revival. I don't. I don't know. It's because I'm being modest, but I, I liked Revival. I liked Revival. And um, Kamikaze. I think Kamikaze should have had more songs on it. Wiz Khalifa. He has an okay discography. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg again goes up and down. T.I. is the only one that stays consistent or goes up. It, it, besides the Dime Trap. The Dime Trap is, is pretty bad. Kanye West. You know, Kanye West is pretty good too. But um, I think T.I. has the best discography. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is a brief intro on, on T.I. Anyway. Peace.